<laughs> I'm gonna look at everything. What is this cool plate? What are these? That's pizza boxes, probably, because it's next to trash. Oh my god, how many people are in your family? Someone a smoker? Gross. Yes, I finally get to snoop. No way, we're getting out of here as soon as I make a sandwich. Pizza boy digs around the fridge. No, I forgot about research and development night. Research and development? Family gets together once a month to hash out ideas for new menu items. They'll make a billion experimental pizza doughs and toppings. <gasps> Are there experimental pizzas in there? Can we have them? Bring them home to save in the fridge. Only to put pizza in their fries and fries in their pizza. Oh hell yeah, I always wondered how little greasers came up with the little greasy pizza flavored fried pizza fries. This sucks, I hate pizza. What? Yo! Hate pizza! How could you? You get to be around it 24-7, deliver it for minimum wage, watch cool kids stuff their faces with it at your rude family's restaurant that you're obligated to work at. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Pizza Boy's stomach growls. Ugh, and someone just had to steal my lunch today. Someone stole your lunch too? Man, life really doesn't give you a break, huh? Well, no sweat. Your bro, Cody, is here. I'm great with food. I bet I could whip up a Pizza Boy approved pizza with all this wicked pizza stuff lying around. You're kidding me. Whatever, I'm so hungry, I'd probably eat anything. Just don't make it taste too much like pizza. Got it. You're getting crayons. But jeez, this looks like a tornado hit an elementary school and remade it into a table. I think your cousins hang out here a lot. <laughs> you don't join them? Not really interested in babysitting. That was more Steve's thing. It was actually fun hanging out with the family when he was living here. Bummer. Maybe you could visit more. Maybe. Yo, it's the legendary pizza bike. Cody pats the pizza bike. Thank you for delivering me many a pizza. <clears throat> yeah, I guess you help too. What's over here? Jeez, someone living on your couch? I mean, I guess that makes sense. It is the living room. <laughs> we let families stay overnight all the time, which sucks because they hog the TV. On the bright side, it's just another excuse to stay in my room and play video games. Aw, uh, it can't be that bad hanging out upstairs with your fam. Imagine a storm of ant nets. <laughs> yeah, I guess anything's better than that. Uh. Look at the door. Cody, I'm dying of starvation. Can we get some food before we leave? Oh, well, when you put it that way, it gives we don't have a choice, huh? Uh, look at the pictures. Whoa, your family's huge. Who knew there'd be so many pizza people in Hella City? These pics look way different from the ones at Little Greasers, though. That's because the guy of the restaurant fixes all the photos so that cool kids don't barf when they look at them. Harsh. I mean, there are a lot of pizza faces in your family, but they look nice enough. Oh my god, is that you as a kid? <gasps> oh my god! So cute! Your hair was long, and holy crap, Steven was even cooler looking back then. Ah, no, don't look. No, I can't stand it with pictures of myself. Or, well, any pictures, really. Let's just pretend that the past never happened. Aw, oh, I mean, well, maybe it's nice to look back and see how far you've come. You look way cuter as a pizza boy. Uh, I mean, not cute, just like, just more like yourself. Not that you're not cute. I mean, you just look way better, less hideous. You know what? You're right. Let's just pretend the past never happened. Hey, I'm not the one who wanted to snoop. Wow. The heck is all that up there? Priceless artifacts? If I move one, will a giant boulder drop from the ceiling and crush me? <laughs> that up there is Grandpappy's remains. Yeah, after getting crushed by a giant boulder. 
You're bullshitting. You're fully bullshitting me. Oh. Oh, uh, sorry. It's okay, I wasn't close to him. Also, the boulder thing was a joke. I fucking knew it. I think he was just really, really old. That plate down there is something I made for my mom when I was younger. I, I think she'd kill you if you ever touched it. Aw, she must love all her little pizza babies. <laughs> What's in the cupboards? The upper cabinets are full of funky pizza toppings. Makes sense that the toppings are up top. Oh, shit. Wait, are those pizza toppings or just a bag of corner store candies? Is there a difference? Yeah. Look, you may have the hat in the uniform, but if you don't even like pizza, then you better hand over the title of Pizza King to me, okay? I've never been called Pizza King, nor do I ever want to be. Do what you want with the pizza. Oh wait, the stove is different? Cody and Pizza Boy look at their reflection in the oven window. You know what would be hilarious? Stare at yourself and say, What's cooking good looking? That sounds terrible. Oh, come on, man. Talk to yourself like you're a cool kid. Sometimes you gotta fake it till you make it. Pizza Boy looks at his reflection in the open window. You are an okay human being. <laughs> not as funny, but also not as cringy. I give it a B minus. Cody opens a lower cabinet. Oh, this one's full of pizza pants. Cody opens another cabinet. Oh, more pizza pants. Another cabinet. Uh, is, is this seriously all just pizza pants? Did you forget what business we're in? I mean, yeah, but you never eat anything else. Picks out the weirdest pizza pan he can find. I think that's a taco shell, dude. I'm pretty sure. What the heck are you supposed to make with a pan like this? A fucking taco, dude. Nothing. One year, my uncle got stranded in the mountains during a pizza expedition and had to fight off a bear with the spare pan. Holy shit! He's been keeping it as a trophy ever since. Wait, oh my god, he fought a bear? With a pizza pan? Why'd he have a pizza pan? And what's a pizza expedition? Hey, I don't know my family any better than you do, okay? I just keep my mouth shut and I don't ask questions about Uncle Bruce's bear bites. Wild. Pizza family sure is ahead of their time with these funky toppings. I don't think those are supposed to be toppings. I'm pretty sure they're just decade-old corner store candies. Whatever, Gma said, always said old things are just finely aged. Cody bites into a candy and almost breaks a tooth. Oh, mmm, tastes like class. <laughs> just gotta make a quick non-pizza tasting pizza and we're back to working on the cat. Yeah, back to the cat, love that. Ha. <laughs> so, hungry. Pizza better not taste like dirt. <laughs> okay. Not pizza not taste like pizza, also not taste like dirt. Got it. Wonderful. We're winning. Oh, crazy brand and weedy bits. Is this what losers have for breakfast? My dad says eating a healthy breakfast will undo the decades of damage that pizza has done to his system. <laughs> what does he eat? Pizza every night or something? No, he just got chronic stress from running a pizza restaurant. Yeah, that makes sense. Can we peek downstairs? Cody, I'm dying of starvation. Please, for the love of God. Okay. Where's the dough at? Hey, experimental pizza dough. Can't wait to find out what the next hit pizza flavor is gonna be. Probably crushed up burritos and Mountain Spew. Wow, I think if Mountain Dew was actually called Mountain Spew, I'd barf all over the place just thinking about it. I think gamers are the target demographic this season. Just this season? Yeah, was, uh, Gigi's gonna love this. And by love, I mean she's gonna just buy and twist so she has a right to dunk on it online. Ayy. <laughs> We're gonna make this pizza keep fooling around. I think we've got everything we need. 
Okay. Ingredients assemble. Cody dumps the entire bag of funky toppings onto the experimental pizza dough and slams it into the weird pizza pan. <laughs> like what you see. All I see is an incoherent mess of clashing colors in a pizza. Sick burn, but not sick enough to bake this pizza. Cody shows the pizza into the oven to watch the- How is this even gonna cook on that fucking weird ass taco tray? To watch the toppings melt and crust rise through the tiny oven window. Thanks for doing this. Even though this is guaranteed to taste like trash, I still appreciate it. Hey, feeding you trash is the least I could do. I'm betting a cool kid stole your lunch, right? Yeah, it's not your fault though. It's not like you were the cool kid that did it. I mean, yeah, but, but it's nice having at least one cool kid on your side, right? I guess. This kind of reminds me of when Steve was in high school and I was just starting middle school. Suddenly it really mattered to everyone that I was a loser. Got bullied so much. So Steve started dropping me off and picking me up every day. No one wanted to mess with me because they thought I was friends with a cool kid. Oh, whoa, I bet Steve could crush a kid into the pavement, no sweat. Nope, he didn't have to do a single thing. But people started getting suspicious. What cool kid hangs out with a loser? Family had a big talk with him about his future. After that, he never showed up for me ever again. That fucking sucks, dude. Yeah, you kind of get it though. Standing up for a loser never ends well. No wonder you couldn't stand up for me at Nebuland. Don't for, don't feel bad for me, dude. I've been a cool kid since day one and I'll always be a cool kid. I had nothing to lose and I still couldn't stand up to Julie. But Steve's a loser. His life could change on a dime. I mean, it kind of already has, but he can't even visit family and his precious little bro. At least, not in public. Uh, hey, maybe you guys can hang out at a gross beach. People hate climbing down the edge of the city to the ocean. Ugh, it'd be so weird. We haven't hung out in forever. Do it! Worst case scenario, you just like stare at the horizon and do nothing. It's honestly pretty chill. Maybe one day. The oven beeps. Peace is done. Pizza! Cody reaches for the pizza before Pizza Boy slaps his hand away. Dude, oven mitts. Hey, don't just fucking grab it. Get some oven mitts. Jesus. The two safely remove the pizza from the oven. Pizza's covered in a slurry of bubbling ran poke goop. Of bone apple teeth. I think you mean bone apple teeth, dude. Hello? <laughs> oh, that was a crunch. The two take a bite. Oh, yuck. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is this? So pizza? I think it's cilantro, lime pudding mix, melted Coca-Cola candies, and gummy bears. It actually tastes good. Way better than normal pizza. Hold on, I have to visualize this in my in my taste buds. You know, this does sound interesting. Interesting enough to where my mouth is salivating. <laughs> Well, I'm glad someone likes it. Pizza Boy halfway finishes up his slice of pizza. So what's on the menu for the cat? Oh yeah, that. I was thinking maybe we could just like play more of your dumb nerd games. Huh? Uh, really? Yeah, like I said, nothing cooler than procrastinating, dude. Plus, didn't you feel cooler yesterday than when we were actually trying to make you cool? Guess I did feel as bad about myself. Couldn't hurt to just hang out and see what happens. Maybe we can make you a D&D character tonight. Oh my god, yes! Sounds lame. Let's do it. Cody and Pizza Boy play nerdy games until it's time for him to go home again. I want to know what, what class he made. What class is his character? I need to know. Pizza Boy makes his way home after school. He looks content. T today must have been an okay day. Good enough to forgo the external monologue processing his anxious thoughts only to be interrupted by- Ah, 
Cody? You're already here. D didn't I tell you to message me? One of these days, you're gonna show up while my dad's taking one of his infamous curbside showers with the neighborhood dogs. Oh, uh, sorry. I guess it's just an off day. Hmm. Showing up early, you no know, obnoxious greeting, a genuinely sad expression. Who hurt you? Uh, no one. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess Juvie's been kind of a bit of a dink lately. You two still haven't made up? No, they keep trying to get me to punch them in the face. Maybe they, maybe they, I think they're really mad at me. Wait, if you're the one who's mad, shouldn't they punch you? That's what I'm saying. Sorry. Maybe if I weren't so lame, they'd have made up with you by now. What? It's not that. I mean, not entirely. They're mad at me, dude, not you. Really? Wait, is this about you borrowing their 80s horror movie collection and never giving it back? What? H how do you know about that? <laughs> uh, just a hunch. Weird hunch, but no, it ain't about the billion times I've mildly inconvenienced them. Ugh, it's just complicated. You wouldn't get it. Do you think losers don't have friends or something? I know it gets complicated. Maybe it'd help if you talked about it? I mean, if you can get over that weird cool kid aversion to emotional honesty. I don't know, man. It's all I have. <laughs> What'd they say again? They called you Two-Face, the harbinger of relational trauma. You mentioned someone named Minnie? Cody goes silent. Is this about Minnie? I can't talk about her. Cody sounds like he's gonna choke up. Why not? My throat feels like it's gonna close up every time I think about her, and I kinda like breathing, okay? That bad, huh? Cody shakes his head to knock himself out of whatever memory he was, he was trapped in. I wanna tell you, really. Hey, I know. <laughs> the only time I really think about her is when I'm at the skate park. Surfing the concrete waves makes me feel like such a rock star that I could take on the whole world. Maybe even a real feel or two. Oh, I see. It sounds like a great idea, but the only thing I have to ride is the pizza bike and it's kind of a magnet for bullies. I mean, maybe if you're fast enough, no one will even notice you. <laughs> that does not work. Well, I mean, I'll be there. I swear it won't be like Nebuland. And if anyone messes with you, you're they're messing with me. Uh, Alright then. It might be nice riding a bike without having to worry about little greasers. 30 minute guaranteed delivery. Awesome. Let's roll. Pizza Boy grabs the pizza bike from his apartment and the two head out. A can we pick? Just a little peek. You know what, since we talked yesterday, I felt way less anxious walking past Steve's. No heart palpitations or anything. Yo, for real? What else gives you heart palpitations? Maybe if we talk about your embarrassing fear of heights, that'll go away too. That's a nice thought, but I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> I want to click on this snake. But also looking at this snake is very blurry and it makes my eyeballs hurt a little bit. What? <gasps> Wait a minute, that's not what I wanted to do. Dang. I just wanted to look at stuff. All the rides in downtown are sick. Maybe that's why, I guess that's why Gma works at a car dealership around here. Your grandma works around here? Is she nice? Yeah, super nice. I mean, most of the time. East Hell Mall shines like a beacon of consumerist hope, easily the brightest thing in downtown. Heck, the electricity bill must be out of this world. <laughs> if it's powered by electricity, you might just be right. Uh, we can't be bumming around, we're headed to the freaking skate park. What if we pop in just real fast? Okay, fine. What if I try to go this way? Oh, wait, what happens if I take the shortcut? 
Cody leads Pizza Boy through the parking lot. The shortcut leads straight to the skate park east side. <gasps> wow. Oh my god, this person's back. Wow. Wow. Ramps as far as the eye can see. I'm feeling chilled out already. These ramps look a little more ramp-like than what I'm used to biking on. How about you go ahead? And I'll just bike around in circles while you focus on chilling out. <laughs> Suit yourself. Aw, oh, sick! Cody skates off on his own. Oh my god, little buddy, your hair's on fire! I love the fucking graffiti. It's so, so good. I wish I could talk to people. They all look so fucking fascinating and I want to know everything. I, have I seriously not been here since last weekend? Better make the best of this then who knows when I'll be back. How did the park designers get away with making such dangerous ramps? This place looks like a lawsuit just waiting to happen. Whatever, I'll just watch Cody skate. That's more fun than getting horribly injured anyway. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Pizza Boy gets an idea. <gasps> yes! Oh, sick! Yes, yeah, so I'll take him a picture. It'd be a shame if you didn't know, know how cool he looked right now. Aw. Do it. Skate. My favorite ramp. The wind vertical. Gotta reach maximum zen to hit this one. Better warm up a bit more. Oh, okay. Oh my fucking god. Wait, that's the one you need maximum zen for? Not this one? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, look at everybody. Oh no, this person's too far off the screen. Oh my god, everybody's so fucking cute. You've got to be joking. This one you can do, but not the other one? Cody flies around the trio of concrete loops. Meanwhile, his thoughts race. He thinks of all the dumb snacks that Gma has been trying to wean him off of since middle school. Apparently, snackables are for dumb loser babies who can't handle brunchables. What? Wait, no. The snackables were just the ones without, like, the fucking extra drink in them, weren't they? Have it- has it changed? I don't remember anymore. Whatever, he thinks snackables are cool anyway. Do this one. Dashes up the ramp. Oh shit! He grabs its edge and swings around for a smooth re-entry. Meanwhile, his thoughts race. He thinks about his D&D &D character being friends with Pizza Boy's Paladin. What class is your character, you fucking stooge? It's not lame to be friends with a loser in a fantasy role-playing game, right? Maybe that's why Peggy and Daniel seem so out of touch. Playing make-believe really is freeing. Oh hell yeah, we're doing it! D&D is winning. Wild. I can't believe they still won't tell me what fucking class he made. This is upsetting. Yo! Yo, yo, the people over here. Oh, hey, it's the other half of that person. Cody just had a handspring off the bench. Time just seems to slow as he sails through the air. And we're thinking. Oh shit, he thinks about no punch man and whether or not he's thrown a punch since he last read the manga. He only stopped because manga is Minnie's thing and everything she liked was apparently lame. No! Maybe it's not too late to pick it back up. Cody skids along the grind rail. Ah, oh, she hops off and spins his board at lightning speed beneath his feet. I love that we have different sprites for all of these. Well, not all of them, but like there are at least a few different sprites for the skateboarding. Thinks about visiting the stars above Chillhaven. They're way cooler than the glow in the dark stars in his room. Although there's something nostalgic about cheap glowing plastic. Hell yeah. She imagines going back in time and lending Minnie some stars for her barren room. Aww. We're chill now, but I'm gonna keep skating because there's so many things. Oh shit, we did a sick cake flip on top of the ramp. Immediately drops down onto his board and dashes around the park. 
thinks about one Halloween when he and Juvie disguised Minnie as a cool kid. They snuck into little greasers for milkshakes and the loser at the cash register smiled at her. Either they didn't know she was a loser or they didn't care. He imagines one day he might stop caring too. Aww. Glides across the ramp. Hell yeah. Circles the park and skates across it several times over. Thinks about a recurring nightmare where Minnie crawls out of the ocean to haunt him. That is not a chill thought. He tries to imagine her coming back with her arms full of seashells for him and Julie. Okay, whew. Thought we were about to undo some of our progress. Cody skims along the bowl. There we go. Skates all around it, losing himself in the motion. Thinks about Juvie throwing a popsicle at him when they found out Minnie left. It's their favorite flair, flavor of a lopsided, ugly, gumball-eyed, furby-shaped popsicle. They must have been really mad. Maybe one day he'll have the guts to throw one back and they can finally be even. Oh man. Did I go up this one? Glides down the ramp. Circles park, skating, sneaking between obstacles and fellow skaters. Thinks about godhood being granted responsibility over an entire domain, losing all his friends and leaving Hella City behind. He's already given up so much. Maybe it's time to stop. We're so super duper chill. Oh my god. We're just the chillest ever. I can't remember which ones I've clicked on already. He's rolling with whatever thought crosses his mind. Okay, I guess that means we've already hit that one. Cool, good. I'm almost 100% certain we've hit everything else. Can you, do you want to skate up the stairs? I can't tell you how many times I've gotten concussed after grinding these rails. Mostly because I can't remember. Please don't injure yourself. The pizza bike delivers pizzas, not concussed teens. No injuries allowed. We did that. We did that. Oh shit, we didn't grind this rail. Gotta grind all the rails. Oh, just kidding. That one counts as the same as... Okay, never mind. Never mind. We go back. And now... It's time. Cody balances the back of his board on the edge of the ramp before dropping in. He leans into the sheer drop before gliding up the other edge of the ramp. Yeah. Pizza Boy watches him swing back and forth like a pendulum. He feels chill just watching. Cody skates while Pizza Boy watches for a good while, long enough for the park to empty out. Cody glides up the ramp, and instead of dropping back down, he sits on its edge with Pizza Boy. Dude, I'm like so sufficiently chilled. I didn't think you could go that long without talking. So what were you thinking about? Oh, you know, Brunchables, manga, my sister, Furby flavored ice cream, the usual. But your sister? Wait. What was that last one? Furby cream? You know what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, yeah. I thought about my sister, Minnie. So, she's your sister. Based on what Julie said, I thought Minnie was just some loser whose life you ruined. She is. Your sister's a loser? Wait, then are you a loser? Nope, these eyes are real. I'm a 100% cool kid. But if you're a cool kid and Minnie's a loser, then- Oh, you're fucking harshing my vibe right now, homie! Then what, would that make your parents a cool kid and a loser? It, isn't that kind of gross? Talk about rock bottom standards. Oh my god, you're really extremely harshing my vibe, little guy. Wouldn't that make you half loser? I mean, I guess that makes sense. Oh, yeah, you are. Maybe this explains why you care so much about Peggy's bracelet. Playing Magic the Havening, making a D&D &D character, and... Cody looks sufficiently unchilled. 
Oh, no. I, I said all the wrong stuff, didn't I? Uh, uh, nope. E everything you said was right. It's just everything I never wanted to hear, ever. I'm so sorry, Cody. I, I shouldn't have said all that. For the record, you're still the same awesomely obnoxious technicolor cool kid skater boy you've always been. No amount of weird family stuff can change that. Cody tries to nod, but just looks awkward. He doesn't believe a word. D do you want to get back in the vertible? M maybe it'll help you feel better. Nah, I'm all skated out. Well, in that case, I guess I could try it. Watching you skate helped me relax. Maybe I could do the same for you. Yeah, do whatever. Pizza Boy readies his bike at the edge of the ramp. Not this one. This this one feels dangerous. Go on the go on the slopes. Oh, I really need to learn to keep my mouth shut. Oh shit! All oh, this sprite is so cute! He leans into the sheer drop before gliding up the other ev ev the other edge of the ramp. Cody watches him swing back and forth like a pendulum. Huh. <laughs> I guess this is pretty relaxing. Cody's thoughts race. Thinks about Minnie and how she was so angry with him she killed his chia pup by watering it with cream soda. He almost cried when he saw it all shriveled up. She felt bad about it later and tried to make it up to him by gluing crumpled green tissue paper onto it. But they never really made up. They just moved on. Uh, uh, hey, PB! Hmm? Uh, no sweat about saying all that reprehensible bullshit. I know you just think out loud. It's not like I've never said stupid, hurtful stuff before. So, like, don't feel too bad, okay? Uh, are you sure? I mean, if it helps, I could just fixate on my mistakes for an unhealthy amount of time. I'll probably do that anyway if we're being real. Nah, dude, we're cool. Ah, uh, that's a huge relief. I'm glad you're okay, Cody. Pizza Boy happily hops back on his bike as he gains confidence, he gains momentum. Oh no, you're gonna hurt yourself. There's something electrifying about it. Oh, wait a second. Oh, <gasps> what the shit? Hype him up. Bro, you're killing it. They ought to change that 30 minute guaranteed delivery to five. That sounds horrible, but thanks. This is actually pretty fun. <sighs> yeah, dude. Oh my God. This makes me want to go ice skating. <laughs> it's completely irrelevant, but like I get into this same zone. <laughs> Gains confidence and momentum. Yeah. Hot damn, if your fam could see how cool you look right now, they'd kick you out like they did to Steve. Guess that wouldn't be the worst thing. I bet Steve would be proud. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're straight up the coolest loser I know. I mean, aside from Minnie. Guess she'd have to be super cool to be related to you. Damn right. Hell yes. <gasps> he feels confident in a way that he's never felt before. He glides up the edge of the winged vertebra and gets some serious air. Oh shit! His handlebars spin and he almost hits Cody. But there's something electrifying about Pizza Boy's basic amateur bar spin. <laughs> he lands on the edge of the ramp. Ah, uh, so sorry. I almost ran it. I almost ran you over. Oh, stop it! I'll cry. Are you kidding me? That was so fucking cool. This, this is what's gonna make you a cool kid. But bike tricks? Heck yes. But also the less important stuff like honesty and friendship and confidence and. Oh shit! I don't even remember what voice I gave Jima. It's been so, so, so long. Cody! Cars pulled up in the parking lot next to the park. Oh, have you flipped your lid? Hugging a loser? Oh, gee, Ma. Thank the gods I was caught up late at the dealership or I'd miss this mix-up only I could fix up. 
Do you have the darndest clue all the sacrifices I've made to give you this rockin' life to make you the most knockout cool kid? I just thought you had the chance not to end up like your poor mother. This is sorry. Don't. Jima takes a deep breath. No need to no need to rattle your cage. You're a cool kid. Cool kids don't apologize. It, it wasn't his fault. Cody's fault. <laughs> oh, what a bite. Who in hell ever said it was his fault? You're the germ cramp in his style. You've got nothing going on, so you're bent on killing some time, killing cool kid Cody's charisma. But what do you care? What loser has anything to lose anyway? I was just teaching him how to be cool. Th this is for the cat. You know that. Oh, Cookie, of course I know that. Gee, Mama knows everything. And I sure as heck know that there's no hug the loser section on the cat. Uh, right. You're, you're totally right. And no sweat. I should have bet you'd be a bit of a space cadet when it got to this stupid test. I just want you to keep your eyes on the prize. Now, can you square things up with this loser? Sorry, pizza boy. This is just business. Nifty, now cruise on back to the cruiser. Oh no, Cody skates off to Gma's car. Come near my grandson again and I will end you. Capiche? Pizza boy nods. Gma heads to her car. Cody doesn't look back. They drive off. Welp. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that cool photo. And look at this super duper cute photo. New. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Hey, no. How come my stickers don't ever work after I finish an episode? They work when I start the game up. And I didn't even click them this time. I, I saved them because I wanted to click them after. Fuck. Oh, well. Well, next time.